All right, guys, we have a brand new Bosch here that is not working. <clears throat> we have 74 on the display, although I don't think that, I think that's our temperature. Yep, that's our temperature. So it seems we're not getting a call for some reason. So let's test to see if we actually do have a call. Go All right, there. so on these Bosch's, of course, um, yellow is our Y, uh, brown is our common, and then blue is our reversing valve O. So we're gonna test between common and Y, see if we have 24 volts. We do not. And our thermostat is on. It is on, it is calling. So let's see where we dropped the voltage at. All right, no voltage between R and C. <clears throat> All right, we have no 24 volts going to the thermostat. Man, this crawl space looks really familiar. I, I don't think I've ever been here before. I guess after a while, they all kind of start running together. <laughs> Let's get this stuff moved. Maybe we got a drain switch open or something. Let's get in there. Uh-oh. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, install guys. You know better than that. <laughs> they know better than that. I bet you it'll work now. <laughs> right, well, that uh, T6 thermostat, once it has a voltage applied to it, no matter if it has batteries or not, it's going to go into a five minute delay. So we got five minutes. All right, we just uh, entered force mode. So on these Bosch's, if you, uh, they call it a short press on the force button there, it sends it into 100%. So we're gonna let it run in 100% for a couple minutes, then we'll hook up our, ga well, we'll hook up our gauges now and then let it stabilize and see um, see what our charge is. All right, so this is a is a Hertz rating here, and this is a three ton system here. So at 76 Hertz, see we're at 75 right now, but at 76 Hertz, it is running at 100%. So we're basically 100% right now. If this was a five ton unit, then 100% is 65 Hertz. But we are a three ton, so 76 hertz is 100%. And uh, we're at 75. I don't know if it's ever going to get to 76, but I think we are close enough to 100% right now. Let's look, take a look here. That is a pretty cold suction line. This thing must be dehumidifying its ass off right now. Subcooling looks good. Everything there looks good. Super heat looks good too. Our fan must not be running at a very high speed. Sounds a little ants around here. This thing will very seldom work at 100%. Most of the time it's only gonna work at about half capacity or so. I'm just gonna check. Um, we're gonna check our temperature split also. Yeah guys, like I said a minute ago, um, the fan is running at a normal speed, but the outdoor unit is running at 100%. 
So that's why we have such a low supply temperature and, uh, and split and a low suction line temperature and suction pressure. So like I said, this thing will very seldom run at 100%. And even if it, when it does, it won't, it won't run at 100% for very long, so. All right, I'm about to get my stuff uh, out of the crawl space here and we'll check back on the outdoor unit. I just, I just pumped it out five minutes ago and it's already pumping out again. Man, this thing is dehumidifying very nicely. All right, I just reset everything back. So I'm letting it run the way it wants to now. Amp draw is going up. Hurt rating's going up. And the pressures are stabilizing. Yeah, it's crazy how little electricity this thing uses. And it's right quiet. These, these numbers are steadily up and down. It's modulating itself, it's doing its thing. So we're about to button this one up and get up out of here. It, it happens to the best of us guys, it, it does. You know, I've forgotten to pull that little tab out before too and went back just to find the condensate pump full and, and uh, you just pull it out and you just gotta shake your head and laugh it off. But, um, you know, it happens, it's a mistake, you know. The guys were probably trying to hurry up and get out of there. So I don't blame them. <laughs> All right, guys, we got another one we got to take a look at uh, right now. I think I, we might have a couple more today, but uh, we're going to go take a look at one right now where they think the blower's not working. So stay tuned. All right, we got a dual air geothermal unit here that the fan is not coming on. So let's give it a call for fan. That don't sound right. All right, let's get it opened up. We'll check that capacitor. If I can get to it from this side. Huh. Let's see if we can get it to it from this back side here. All right, we got our capacitor out here. It's just easier for me to take it out. All right, we're gonna hook one side here. The other side here. That capacitor is good. All right, so we got a bad motor. Yeah, she looks a little burnt. She looks a little cruddy duddy. Hmm. I think it's been replaced once before. No, no, those, that looks factory. Oh yeah, she's burned up pretty good in there. Crispy. I'll tell you what, this little motor's got some weight to it. Holy crap. Half horse, 208, 230, 4.3 amp, uh, single phase, 1075 RPM. I should have something on the truck that'll work. All right, let's see what we got here. This is a condenser motor. Uh, here's a fan, but it's 115. This might be us here. Half to 1.6, 1075, four speed, 208, 230, 3.9 amps. I think this is us here. Yeah, that's, um, this is a Goodman motor. All right, 
Yes, sir. Right, we got our bolt loose here. I like this all one construction because sometimes you have these tabs here that are separate and you gotta line them up and it's just a pain in the ass. So this one is all one piece. So it looks like it should lift right up off here. Yep, bam. So we'll get rid of the old motor, put that off to the side and we'll put our new motor in and get it all um, get it put on our new clamp. Just compare our motors here. The old one looks a little taller. They look like the same diameter though. So we shouldn't have an issue with any kind of matchup. Cool. All right, everything seems like it's matching up and falling in line. So we're gonna get all these lined up and tighten down. And then we will adjust the wheel on the shaft. All right, let's get these bad boys tightened down. Just want to make sure our wheel is lined up. Spinning good. Got this locked down. All right, now we have to check to see what speed our old motor was set up at. So. We were on white and black on this one. So white is common and black is high speed. So on this motor, set up the same way. Black is high and, all right, so three line. Okay, we're going to set up as a four line. Okay, white is our common and goes to one side of the line and then black goes to the other side of the line. Cool. All right, and in doing that, since we are running at 100%, we are going to need half horse, see here? Half horsepower, high, black, we need the 10 microfarad capacitor. All right, so we're putting the 10 on. Guys, got our new motor mounted in place. Our capacitor's in. So all we gotta do is wire it. And here is our wires coming up. The red was capped off, so we just have black and yellow. So the black's gonna go to the black and the yellow is gonna go to the white and the rest of them are gonna get wire nutted off. All right, we got the new motor in. We got it all wired up. I ended up with a lot of extra wire here, but you know, it is what it is. I got it zip tied up, got it secured good. So it is what it is. So we'll just double check, make sure everything is landed, everything's tight and we're about to turn it on and we're going to check and confirm the rotation of the motor. So here's our disconnect plug. Turn it on. Go to the thermostat. on to confirm rotation actually in fact i can unplug it and see which way it's spinning all right we're actually spinning the wrong way so we need to undo this plug here and flip it around so the white was on the white now we need to flip it like this and plug it back in and this will reverse our rotation Trying to do it one-handed, guys. All right, now the black is to the white on both sides. Let's plug it back in. There we go. That even sounds better. All right, let's get all the panels put back on and we'll give it a cooling call and make sure it's running good. Oh my, this thing is really dirty. Let's 
Got it. Let's brush that off real quick. Alright, well it's better than what it was, but still not perfect. We're going to recommend to them a 4 p.m. on it, but uh, we'll get them up and back up and running for today. Alright, we are running. Running pretty good. Let's check some temperatures here in a couple minutes. See how it actually is running. Alright, we're not going to bring out the whole kit and caboodle on her, but we are just going to check her with the, the B20 thermal imaging. Looks like we're making 54 degree air. Pretty cool. And it's 74 at the thermostat. So it looks like we got around a 20 degree split. All right guys, just left that call there. Got the motor put in and got that uh, little geothermal unit back up and running. So that's why it's always good to keep a nice uh, stock truck. So if you need a part off of it, you can pull it off get the customer back up and running don't have to worry about leaving going to a supply house or worry about making a return visit or something like that you should always keep a good stock on your truck so all right guys that's it for this one please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and i'm off to the next one